Triangles can be classified in two ways, by their angles and by their sides. I am first going to talk about classifying triangles by angles. There are three classifications for triangles by angles. First, acute triangles. A triangle is acute if all three of its angles are acute angles. Remember, acute angles have a measure between 0 and 90 degrees. Next, obtuse triangles. A triangle is obtuse if one of its three angles is an obtuse angle and the other two are acute. Remember, obtuse angles have a measure between 90 and 180 degrees. Finally, right triangles. A triangle is right if it has one right angle and the other two are acute. Remember, right angles have a measure of 90 degrees. There's a special type of acute triangle called an equiangular triangle. This is an acute triangle where all three angles are congruent. Now I'm going to talk about classifying triangles by their sides. There are two ways to classify triangles by sides. First, scalene triangles. A triangle is scalene when none of its three sides are congruent. Next, isosceles triangles. A triangle is isosceles when at least two of its sides are congruent. The words at least are very important when classifying isosceles triangles because isosceles triangles can have two or three congruent sides. That leads us to a special type of isosceles triangle called an equilateral triangle. This is an isosceles triangle where all three sides are congruent. I am now going to create a graphic organizer to help you understand how to classify triangles. I'm going to use a website called Bubble Us to create the graphic organizer. I will start with a he heading of classifying triangles. Then I'm going to branch out to the two ways to classify triangles by angles and by sides. Under by angles, I will create acute, obtuse, and right. And under acute, the equiangular triangle. Under by sides, I will create scalene and isosceles. And under isosceles, the equilateral triangle. Finally, since an equiangular triangle is also equilateral and vice versa, I will create a double arrowed connector between them. Hopefully, now you have a good understanding of how to classify different types of triangles and you are ready to move on to your activity.